Hi, I got on the uh, Scrap Diva Designs backpack <laughs> wagon. She has this wonderful little backpack die, and it's designed by Nicole Silhouette. Silhouette. Mm, Nicole, forgive me. Anyway, I made it, and I really like the die. And I thought, well, I want to see if I can make it for other seasons, and so I made a whole bunch of them here to just show you. But this is what it looks like. Isn't that stinking cute? And the little rosette on top, I just got from a, well, I got it from the Dollar Tree. I got little baby headbands, two for a dollar. And I just cut off the rosette, which was wasteful, I guess, but I love it. Anyway, so there's my little summer themed backpack with my cute little dangly doohickeys there. And of course the back. This backpack goes together very nicely, very easily. Okay, so I did summer. Next up is fall. So you could do a fall theme or you could do a Halloween theme. Um, I'm doing a swap with my friend Sheila and she loves Halloween. So I made a Halloween one and I just, you know, use buttons and rosettes and things to decorate it. And there is my dangle on this one. With this one, I did something a little different. I just tucked the ends of the backpack in and glued them. So there we have Halloween. Then comes Christmas. Wouldn't this be fun for the coworkers that you really, really like? You know, um, it's wonderful. So I used an earring that I had, an old jingle jangle earring I got from Hobby Lobby. They sell them every year for my uh, dangle. And then I just used uh, some buttons and made them like little toys. This is a sock monkey here is a Brad that I just used. And then of course your bow. And I just did my straps the regular way. And then of course you need spring. So this is my spring backpack. I really like this one. This is the first one I made. Um, I used the rose dye that Scrap Diva 29 sells. And look at those roses. They look really nice. And I'll tell you, I have been trying to master how to make my own roses because I use roses on everything I do practically. And this dye just is the answer. It makes it so easy. And then, of course, the little wooden ladybugs up here and the little bees down here. And all I did with my flowers was I used a uh, kind of glossy, glossy iridescent paper. It was yellow, and then I took a red, and it doesn't look so red. It looks more orange, but I took it and I did it on the edges of the paper because when I was young, I worked in a florist shop, and the roses I liked the best were the yellow with the red tips. So I like this one. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a tutorial showing how to make this type of, uh, I don't know, peekaboo background. I don't know what you call it, but where it has the lacy edges in it. And I, I just used another die, but I'm just going to show you about placement and stuff. I also put my backpack together just a wee bit differently than the other people have put theirs together. You might find it easier. You might hate me for it. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching this video, and I hope you watch the other one because I'll show you another neat die, uh, the one that I used to make this one that I just love. Thank you. Bye.